of this run stand. Dimensions are about three feet wide by five feet long. Uh, it's very adjustable. You can put, you know, right now it's got a 5.7 liter Hemi in there out of a Dodge Durango. Uh, starting from the back here, you can see that I've got a fuel cell. And down underneath I have a fuel pump, fuel, two, fuel, two fuel filters, or a regulator so I can uh, feed the engine the fuel it needs. Uh, the exhaust you see on here is straight out of the Dodge Durango, so it looks a little wonky right now. But uh, this is pretty much the as-is uh, setup that I got out of the donor vehicle. Um, you can see that I have my computer hooked up here. Uh, this is a computer I have a Dodge Ram that I'm testing. The whole purpose of putting it on the run stand in this condition is so I can get the wiring worked out for the eventual uh, transplant into my Jeep. Uh, so everything on here kind of looks dirty and original because it is. It's a, um, I do have a bypass belt on there to bypass the AC compressor. It's not in line right now and neither is the power steering pump. So I've got a short belt on there. I've also got a heater, heater hose bypass uh, hooked up down on the bottom and you'll see better from the other side I have a tray for um, the battery as well as battery charger that I keep on it just a little bit about the construction you can see that this is a two inch tube going over an inch and three quarter so um, each of these brackets I've designed so they can be uh, adjusted in out lengthwise so presumably I could create a amount for any variety of different engines. Obviously I've got this one in particular set up for this. Uh, the wheels are adjustable as well. Something you'll want to know when you, if you're building a, a run stand is that you want to be high enough off the ground that your engine hoist can get under it. And this one is. Uh, it's got I think they're four inch wheels plus another four inches of, of uh, pipe lifting it up so uh, it's got about I think it's either I think it's six or eight inches of clearance so I can definitely get my um, engine hoist under it um, for the sake of testing I have the, the, the gas pedal electronic gas pedal just mounted here to the outside this is the original cruddy radiator out of the donor vehicle works I do have your basic power setup here, a master switch, a start button, fuel, and a couple ignition. Um, they do go through a fuse panel down here so, uh, so I can provide power for the, for the run. Uh, here's the battery down here. Nothing pretty, very exotic going on on this side. Um, kind of already saw. Uh, one thing that's different about this Hemi on the run stand is I do have a bell housing. I'm going to be using a manual transmission, so this is not the from the donor vehicle. That's actually from a Jeep Liberty. Starter's on a different side on this one. Uh, eventually, of course, there'd be a clutch and a manual transmission. In fact, there's the manual transmission that's going to be going in it. What else can I tell you about it? Um, that's kind of the basics. I do have this angle iron. Everything's very, it's like a big erector set. Uh, that old toy from back when I was a kid. Um, you know, you can add shelves and bars and cross members. So I added this angle iron across the top here and it takes these trays. I can just sit them right in top. I frequently have a tray sitting right there that has, in fact, it's down there on the ground. That I'll have my tools that I'm working with at the time. I set them up on the top here, and then uh, of course this tray I have my computer plugged in. Alright, so I think that's enough chatter. Let's go ahead and just give it one quick little run so you can hear the noise. It's obviously pretty noisy. All it has is some short pipes with catalytic converters on there. Uh